The video today is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's about this USB flex light that's on my bandsaw. And every time I use the saw, I'm reminded of how nice it is to be working with such luxury in a first world country where we can have nice things from other countries. Now, if your saw doesn't have a USB port mounted on the guide bushing rail mechanism area, this video is for you. Most bandsaw lights seem to be mounted on an arm that sticks out here, where you can position the light wherever you need it. And that's all right in a large shop, but in a small shop like this one, it's really annoying to have to walk all the way around that light and bump into other things. The real beauty of this solution here with a slinky USB cord is that the light is always in the right spot so you can see whatever line it is you're following. So here's what's involved. There's a power extension cord here, USB converter adapter transformer there, slinky cable, and that's wrapped around here to a USB socket there, which is glued to that aluminum. I first tried hot melt glue to try and get the angle right, and hot melt glue doesn't stick to that aluminum very well at all. So I ended up using epoxy, but hot melt glue lasted long enough to at least get the angle right. So it's angled a little bit, I guess more in the direction of that pencil there so that the light can stay out in front of those bearings, like so. If you have the light back here, it will reflect off the wood and bounce back up at you, and you won't be able to see the line very well. So if you can get the light in front a little bit, then that will be very usable. A nice addition to your bandsaw. I did find it hard to find the right slinky cable and I tried a bunch of different lights and I'll try and find the links to the ones I got and post them. Uh, the main thing I'd encourage you to do is when you route this cord, think about what happens if something lets loose. So this bottom part here, if that falls off, is that gonna fall in the cutting path or not? So in this case, if it falls off, this slinky cord is going to pull it back and away from the blade. So just make sure that you're not running this in a way that anything falling would get in the blade. That's it. Thanks for watching.